Oh, what do we have here? Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today, I know it's crazy, we've got two whole videos in a row. That doesn't usually happen on this channel, but I've got so much to show you guys at the minute. In one of the previous episodes, I showed you all the mother of all Mega Constructs hauls. That thing was absolutely wild. Then a few days ago, I showed you me and Strandy 42s haul of 30 unique Halo Heroes Mega Constructs figures. Definitely unique. All of them were different. None of them were the same, I promise. And I've taken a couple of days off from the channel. You may have noticed the upload schedule has slowed down a lot. That's just so I can really focus on a lot of things in my life. I uploaded videos onto this channel every day for 125 days straight. So I think it's, uh, I, I think a break is more than due. Uh, so I took all of this uh, last weekend off, had a really good time. Went to a craw crawfish showdown, which was actually a really interesting thing to do. Very American experience. And today I'm showing off a few more things that I received in the mail recently. Recently. They are like super super exciting. Um, these especially are like Wow, I've only took a peek at them and uh, I can barely barely get my head around them. They're so epic And then this last box is from Kevin Hurd at Halo Collector So I'm gonna switch this camera angle down show you guys what I've got today and stick with this channel for the next two weeks In two weeks time I'm taking a flight back to England after traveling around America for the last five months I'm finally going home I haven't been to England in two years and when I get back you guessed it Dioramas, baby. I'm so excited to be back in a space where I can actually make dioramas. It's how the domain got restarted about two years ago in lockdown, and it's how we're gonna go back to our roots this year. So look forward to that. There's gonna be a lot of news updates, like channel updates coming soon, just talking you through the crazy process of moving back to England. Let's check these out without further ado. Switch that camera angle down. All right, let's see. We're going handheld for this one. We got two packages here. These are really exciting. First thing we're going to check out is this box. Uh, obviously, I've had a look inside this before. <laughs> this was not how it arrived. <laughs> but yeah, we got a really nice box here, including a giveaway that I'm going to do later in the video. This is from Kevin Hurd, and this is everything you want to see inside a box, right? Halo Universe Series 1. Beautiful. So, Series 1 is a very interesting set. First of all, uh, it's a really legendary set. It is the first blind bag series in the Halo Universe line. Before this, we had Halo Infinite Series 1, 2, and 3. They were great, but they were just Halo Infinite. And although Halo Infinite is a phenomenal game, we want to respect and celebrate the legacy before that. And that's what Halo Universe is doing now. Mega Constructs is rebranding themselves to just Mega, and now they're doing two different lines, Halo Infinite and Halo Universe. And you can see that in the sets and the rest of the toys as well. We've got Halo Heroes Series 15 and 16. They're both Halo Universe. Then we've got a load of sets. We've got the Arbiter's Quest, the Winter Contingency, Falcon Sweep, and then a load of the new sets that have been announced for the full wave, including the ODST Hive Exterminators and the Elephant Sand Trap. But we also have Halo Infinite sets coming soon, like the Banished Phantom. So they're definitely diverging into two timelines here. And this is Halo Universe Series 1. We have received news that Series 2 of Halo Universe will be coming soon in the fall, and we're going to see images of that pretty quickly, I would imagine, within the next month, I think. In this set, we've got Halo Combat Evolved Spartan. We've got a Halo Infinite Spartan Aster, although I remember someone telling me that the Aster is not actually the name of the Spartan. It's been renamed. A Halo Wars Elite. But then the funny thing is, three Halo 2 figures. Like, it's not evenly distributed per se. We've got a Brute, Grunt, and Halo Marine. And yes, Mega have been been going through and replacing all of the old Marines from every Halo game with the new articulation, with the removable helmet and the new height. Very excited about that. So we've got one blind bag there. Um, I believe a lot of these, I know there's a full set of sealed blind bags. I know we've got a lot of brutes in here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 Halo Universe Series 1 blind bags, all from Halo Collector. Please do follow Halo Collector on Facebook. They are a legendary place. And we've got something very special in here. These are all just falling down. We got something special in here. Let's have a look. Beautiful. 
Halo Wars 2 stickers. Look at those. All of your favorite banished vehicles, including a brute there with a gravity hammer. Really nice. I don't know what I'm gonna stick these on yet, but there's 10 of them and it's the tech skin pack for controller gear. Maybe they recommend you put these on your Xbox controller. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them, but these are really dope. Thank you very much, Kevin Hurd. Ho, ho, ho. I've already seen a lot of these before, like I've already been sent these before by Kevin. We've got some Halo Collector patches. Yeah, I have a couple of these back in England. Hot Wheels stickers, and these are custom Halo Collector Hot Wheels. Well, Hog Wheels, <laughs> very nice pun. Hog Wheels collectibles, and some additional little stickers as well. I will be giving away a set of these. If you would like to win a Halo Universe blind bag, Halo Collector patch, Halo Collector sticker, and Hog Wheels Halo Collector sticker, all you need to do is like this video and comment down below saying which your favorite blind bag series is and why. I'll pick a winner in the next couple of days and pin the winner to this video. So if you see there is a winner pinned, then the competition is over. But still, I would like you to let me know down below which your favorite blind bag series is. There are so many good ones. So make sure to enter that competition and I'll draw a winner soon. Lots more stickers here and inside this bag. Oh, hello. That's a random jazzware base plate. <laughs> And in here, dun, 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 yes. A full set of Halo Universe Series 1. This was the original set that Kevin filmed his review of Halo Universe for me. We've got the Brute. That is the number one, absolutely gorgeous. Just such a nice figure. I know this is the high obtainable figure right now. Everybody wants it. But Halo Universe did not have good distribution in the USA. Most targets never even saw a release of the series. We've got a Halo Wars Elite. The shoulder will be in there somewhere. I love the difference between the yellow, silvers, and blacks here and a different skin tone for his neck, showing his exposed skin compared to his jumpsuit. Very nice Elite. All right, we've got the Halo Combat Evolved Spartan. The silver visor is a great touch especially the fact that it matches the Magnum. I wish there had been different Magnum molds between the games. That would have been cool. But I know that's probably not a priority for Mega's budgeting. There's always a Spartan in blind bags that just uh, sort of sort of just there. It's just a, a normal plain Spartan. And this is a normal plain grunt, but I know a lot of people actually like this grunt. It's funny because I went to a Target and I bought an almost full box of Halo Universe Series 1 about like four or five months ago now. All of the figures were in the series except for the grunts. There were no grunts left for whatever reason. Somebody apparently just really liked grunts. We've got the Spartan Aster. I know it's probably not the Aster. He's got gold added to his visor. I really like the half transitioning figures. I did some reviews of them recently or the power up packs. They're really great. I love the additional gold there. It is a really nice touch. I love the fact that the black shines through from the jumpsuit. Really dope. Really dope figure. And then we've also got the Halo 2 Marine. I love the fact that we have removable helmets now. Now we can customize all of these with our Halo Infinite figures. And we have the Halo 4 Marine and the Halo 3 Marine coming out later this year in the fall lineup with the new removable helmet. Really excited about that. That's all the figures. The Commando Rifle. Beautiful. I mean, it totally makes sense. Mega had to make the Commando Rifle now. It's such a staple in the series. It's funny that there were only six figures, but I still respect it. And nice that Kevin also sent me the display box. I love my display boxes. Oh, is that a bonus there? Jager Radomni and a Spartan Mark 5B. Yes. Beautiful. I don't collect all of Jazzware, but Jager... It has to be Jager, man. You have to get Jager. Just Chief running in the background there. A bit of a weird one. Jager the Domni. The Blade Master. I will have a full review of this coming soon. And yeah, one of the only Jazzware sets that I just had to have. Even the detailing weathering on this Mark 5B, it's like, why do people complain about Jazzware, man? It looks phenomenal. And the amount of new molds they've made is crazy. All right, we got Halo Universe everywhere. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Tidy that up later. We've got these two boxes that I just had to show off. These are from a very special custom maker online. I know you guys will have heard of him before. Here we go. Whoa. Okay, there's so much in here. This is from Flustered mcx on instagram you can check him out and i'm not going to show all of these off today i'm just going to give you a teaser and in the future i'm going to do full showcases of everything it's a really big project really excited about it let's check it out dun 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 Whoa. there's so much that jumps out to me immediately 
Look at this, George. Beautiful. There's a lot of custom molding here and a lot is 3D printed. Again, I'm not gonna go into full details today. I just wanted to show you the basic haul, what I've got to showcase because there is so much to talk about here. Incredible, look at that cybernetic leg, man. Oh, outrageous. So I just received this. First thing I'm going to do is sort of section it all off, decide what I review in what order, because there is so much. And a lot of these Halo Reach Spartans, a lot of this Noble team are based on the original concept art for the game. So there's so much to show off here, so much and eventually I'm going to have reviews of all of this. But look at this, this is the one I wanted to show off the most right now. This Arbiter man, look at his face. That's simply gorgeous. So much molding there, like simply gorgeous. Yeah guys, I know you're all gonna be really hyped to see the review come out for all of these. I'm gonna section it off probably into games. That is a beautiful haul for today. Halo Universe Mega Haul and a massive amount of customs. Again, if you can do anything for me today, guys, I would like you to check out Flustered MCX on Instagram. And let's not forget the Jager Adomni as well. What a dope haul. If you would like to win this bundle of a Halo Collector patch, sticker, hog wheels, custom sticker, and Halo Universe Series 1 blind bag, simply like this video and comment down below saying your favorite blind bag series and why i'll pick a winner and pin it in the coming days this was another haul with the domain i hope you enjoyed yourselves today all these universe blind bags i gotta clean up off the floor but yeah you stay awesome you stay safe out there folks thank you very much for all your support recently and i hope you'll follow my journey back to england in the next two weeks the domain is signing off